Hi, this is Lisa from Pretty Paper Pretty Ribbons, and I wanted to do a quick video today that will show you how to use DXF files with your Silhouette Studio. And you can use DXF files with the regular free version of Silhouette Studio, um, but there's some little things that you need to know about them um, just to make sure to make it a little easier for you to use them. So I just want to show you. Um, step by step how to bring those onto your mat and how to make them um, good for cutting. Alright, so first you need to go to open. You can go to file open or use this little open folder here. And if you look, of course it always wants you to open Silhouette Studio files but if you click here and you won't have all of these options if you have the regular the free version but you should have the AutoCAD interchange file format DXF so if you'll click on that then you should be able to find the DXF file you have downloaded um, so I'm going to click on that and click open and it brings it onto my mat going to click 12 by 12 so my mat will be true size. Alright, um, this is a happy panda file from the birthday panda cutting files from Pretty Paper, Pretty Ribbons Graphics. And if you see, if I were to just go and start moving things around, um, it's grouped really strangely. Um, and that's just how it pulls into Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to undo so everything's back where it goes. First thing I want to do is make sure my panda bear is the size that I want him to be. And I want him to be about four inches tall, so I'm going to click and drag. So I clicked up here, held down my left mouse button, and dragged across to highlight all of these. And you can see they're all selected because there's little squares around them. And then I want to just put this little panda bear up here and see how tall he is and he's four inches tall. Look at that. But if I wanted to make him bigger I would just drag this corner to resize. And it's nice because it resize all the pieces so that everything stays in proportion. Alright, so that's the size I want my little bear to be. Now, with him still highlighted, I, you know, I want to come down and ungroup him because some of the pieces seem to be stuck together or that I don't want stuck together because I want to put them on separate places of my mat so that I can cut them out with different pieces, uh, colors of paper. Um, but the ungroup option is not working here. So what I want to do is go to edit, I'm sorry, object, release compound path. And what that does is makes each piece able to move on its own. The problem with that is that now this little face moves around and I want these eye holes and the um, eyebrows to be cut out of the face in the right place so I'm going to undo that to put that back where it goes and I'm going to click and drag to select all of these pieces on the face and I'm going down to the bottom and click group selected shapes um, that way I can move this little panda face over here even if I deselect it they all stay together. So I want this to be white and I want this little belly shape to be white and this is his nose. That to be white. And if you look at these shapes and you say well I don't know what that thing is right there. Um, with the Pretty Paper Pretty Ribbons files there comes a PDF file that has all of the pieces labeled. So you can look at that and try to figure it out. Um, Alright, and this is a nose in the background and I want those to be black so I'm just going to group those together so I can move them together over here and then this one's going to be a darker gray but if I move that those little pieces that define its the little panda's foot mess up so I'm going to undo click and drag over this so that those pieces are with the bear group it and move it I want these eyes and ear holes to be attached to this head. Group that. And then this arm will be the same color. Then we have the hat. 
I want these to be the same color, so I'm going to group them, the little trim pieces for the hat, and then the mouth. Oh, see, and that came apart. Sometimes that happens with the DS DXF file, so I'm going to undo to put that back, and I want to group that. So that's the extra step that you have to use if you're using DXF files with the regular free edition of Silhouette Studio. Um, if you want it to have to go through a little bit less steps, you can um, get the designer edition and use SVGs. Um, and I'll do another video in a little bit showing some tips about using SVG files. Okay, and if you see, if you go up to cut file, to the cut style window, um, everywhere there's a line on these DXF files is going to cut. So I just wanted to give you those little tips to make, you know, keeping these little pieces together easier for you. Um, thank you for, so much for stopping by today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.